Oh. So day two of working on this truck. Um, as you can tell, I'm wearing the same exact thing because I didn't get to finish up and I had to spend the night at JW's house and so I didn't have any extra clothes, but you know what, it's okay. Should, 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 he, should he charge me? Uh, no, probably, probably not. We're, we're not going to talk about it. I charge him rent. I, um, I helped pay for food last night, dude. We had a feast. We had like, what was it? <laughs> we had the weirdest setup of food. We had hot dogs, steak. chili, steak, mashed potato. I mean, like we had like a weird thing going on. Oh, oh yeah, we had Corona Sunrises and Red Bull. So we, we had a, a great feast last night. But anyways, um, we ended up waking up, going to O'Reilly. So the problem that we had was this spring on the other side the way we did it was we had a ratchet strap holding it in place and we just jacked this arm up which would have worked but this side here the spring touches and so we can't really hold it in place while we're jacking it up because it doesn't sit up here so um we got this super awesome fancy spring compressor that i actually didn't know how to work last time and so i about killed myself with it in fact, this is probably the same one because it looks kind of bent. This may be the one that I messed up. But anyways, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put this on the bottom up down here. Put the other piece through this, spread it out, and it will compress the spring. And um, then I can basically lift this up, put the knuckle on there, take that piece out, put the shock in place, put everything back on there. And then in theory, have everything buttoned up. And so we'll see how that goes and hopefully be finished up with the front in the next 30 minutes or so. Compressor on there, which is the correct way of how to use it. It's not going anywhere. We've got the control arm in now. Dude, why can't we have done that like Dude, yesterday? Like, like look, what? <laughs> Not even 15 we minutes. Three hours on that side yesterday. Yeah, we could we could have had everything done. Uh, if you got the right tools, you can make a job seem really, really easy. So now the fun part is um, loosening that up, making sure that I can get this in place, which should be pretty easy because I'm gonna turn this now. Watch the guy on video, so he turns that, and then he can get to that nut because it's 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 in a weird angle. So like, as you can see, then the arm has like this weird angle to it. So it's gonna be kind of hard to get it on there. But um, hopefully we can get this side all done and bolted up. And then uh, we'll show you what it looks like on the ground. See you in a second. All right, well, I don't know exactly how long that took, but it was a whole lot quicker than the other side. So we've got all the lines zip tied up and everything. Might actually put one more zip tie there just to keep it out of place or in place. And might actually loosen that up and bring it down some but um, everything on the, this side went a whole lot smoother since we had that um, spring compressor and um, so everything on this side is done I got to go the, on the other side and uh, finish tightening tightening this up since we figured out how to do it and um, other than that we are done we're about to put the wheels on it and see what it looks like squatted she is back on the ground looking thick boy we got that 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 gap in the front there Give it a good little slap there for me. See how much gap we got. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's a we lot. Yeah, we gotta do the back now. Oh man, that's that's a big difference. So, sh should we leave it like this? Yeah, let's do it. Sh I'm asking them, should, should we leave it like this? Obviously they're gonna say no. You're gonna have like those five people who say yes, but I think this looks super stupid. Maybe if I add my, uh, my new tires and wheels on there, which, We'll be coming in a later video, but if I had everything like that, it'd be good. But, um, boy, this thing is so much bigger than it was before. It's ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead and um, finish bleeding the brakes. So I got some new brake fluid there. We got the brake line swapped out and everything. And uh, we're going to go ahead and bleed the brakes really quick. Once we get that done, we're going to start on the rear. I hope that we should have this done in, I don't know, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Um, bleeding the brakes is going to be fun. Any anytime you have to bleed the brakes or do anything like that, it has to, it takes a while for some reason. So you got to get all the line out, make sure it goes through, make sure you get all the air out of the line rather, um, and all that. So hopefully we should be done here, but we will get it done today, which will be nice. The fun part is just going to be driving without an alignment for a day or two before before I can go get the alignment done, since there are no shops open today. So wish us luck. 
Ain't that the truth? All right, let me see this thing. Let me show them the differences. All right, so we got our new springs here. And what's really nice about this kit, the sun here, is so this is a dual rate spring. So you've got kind of like a heavy or slow rate, whatever, and then a high rate at the top. And then this is your stock spring. So basically the stock spring, and then you've got your extra couple inches there. And then there's the little spacer, but you can tell like just the girth of that is just so much better. That, and then we will be installing these spacers at the bottom. And that's what gives us our, our leveled outlook because there are sometimes where the truck will look kind of lean back um, and we won't be doing that. So we dropped the rear end down got the springs out got the new shocks in we have to install the bracket for the uh the arm here the drop down brackets for these and um, we're coming along so the only thing we got to do is drill those holes i got to make sure i've got drill bits um, but i have to leave here in just a minute and uh go get my hair cut of all things so um hopefully we should be getting this done today but it's gonna take a little bit longer than i planned but all good and then once we're finished up with all that then just like we did before um i've got these little things here for max track as well and uh these will be doing the drop down bracket so that's what this basically is all four of these are a drop down bracket for um the carrier bearing so that's going to drop it down about an inch and i think an inch and a half inch and a quarter um that's what we'll be using to bring that down so we can get the correct angles and just like that the new springs are in the new shock is in we're about to put those spacers on um, i'm about to leave i'm going to come back in just a minute and uh i say just a minute it's going to be about an hour or two before for me but be like five seconds for y'all we'll get back and i'll uh, put the rest of the stuff in and uh we'll be sitting here back on the ground just letting you know if you do do this um go ahead and loosen up that top control arm um that way you can drop the rear end down enough i loosened it the loosening it loosening it wasn't enough so we went ahead and just took the bolt out of the top and um, everything worked out there so just make sure that y'all do that and then make sure you tighten these up when you're on the ground and just like that we're done uh Let's see here. Took a lot longer than we expected. Went and got a haircut, came back. We just bled the brakes. Um, just filled everything back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back on so I don't forget. And uh, so we're good here. Man, I actually have to reach now. So I'm six foot four. And uh, this thing here, man, it makes me feel small now. So. Um, last thing I need to do is there was a washer that I forgot to put on the castle nut on the bottom ball joint. So I got to fix that and then tighten up that top ball joint because it was really hard to get to. So I just need to turn the wheel. Once we're done with that, I had to come back here and tighten up the, uh, the either control arms or sway bars, whatever you want to call them. Tighten those up, put the fender liners back in, and then we are done. So... If you're interested in this lift, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but that's uh, that's Max Tracks seven seven inch lift, and uh, it is huge. So make sure y'all check it out. Um, in the next upload, hopefully we should be doing wheels and tires. I would hope. Um, maybe just tires. I know that uh, I got some packages that came in the mail today, so we're gonna see what they see what they are um i know that i ordered new tpms sensors and everything so maybe that gives y'all an idea of course you know probably new wheels and tires not that these are bad or anything but they've definitely seen some um some better days where you know i took it off-roading
so anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and button everything up and then got a cool like i said a couple of uploads here i should have probably four or five more of basically just kind of getting the truck ready for everything i know that we're uh in june we're going to daytona so it's gonna be a different truck um one of the things that i didn't get to show y'all but thought was really nice was i did win some amp steps so that was pretty cool so i went to um kickback legends uh show in atlanta georgia and um we ended up winning those amp steps for twenty dollars so super excited about that so now that it's lifted i know that mariah will be super happy so basically this uh she's moving along compared to last year where she was so basically new wheels and tires amp steps new rock lights um which i'll show you all in the next video and uh kind of give you a better rundown of what we did with the amp steps and where we went and who put them on and everything for me so with that being said guys make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video There's Cam's truck lifted, and then freaking here comes Stan, completely ruining the vibes and making that look stock again.